All right, let's get this nickel party started. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're gonna make a very simple nickel plating setup. Most nickel plating solutions don't work well without heat. So you're gonna need a heat source, and you're gonna need to put it in a heat resistant container. I'm gonna use this glass beaker, and although I normally use a hot plate, when I'm just doing nickel plating, I switched over to this uh, cup warmer, which is really nice and compact. It doesn't give off a lot of excess heat, and it keeps it about 50 to 55 degrees. The optimum temperature for this particular solution is 40 to 60, so that's right in the middle of the range. Second thing is uh, I use an anode cage with an anode bag over it, and, and I do sell these on my website. Very easy to use. Um, you don't have to muck around with anodes. You just plop it in and go. Pure nickel anode. Just put it into the anode cage. Here's a titanium bus bar. I really like these because when you're plating with nickel, especially since it's hot, you get some fumes up until the, the bus bar. And if it's brass or copper, it oxidizes very quickly. And then sometimes you lose uh, connection between the cathode and the liquid. So I find the titanium is really easy to use. Next thing is a good pair of alligator clip leads. Um, I do also sell these on my website or you can make your own and the black or the negative goes onto the cathode and the red or the positive goes onto the anode. And you'll notice that I have this long bar and I keep the alligator clip away from the plating solution because I don't want it to be contaminated. So if this gets jostled or it falls, it falls outside of the tank, not into the tank. You don't want to do anything like this because this can easily contaminate your solution. Same with the anode cage. I put the clip below the level of the plating solution so that if it does fall again, it falls below the solution, doesn't fall into the solution. Then you're going to need a thermometer to make sure you're at the right plating temperature. Is to pour in the nickel plating solution. And this nickel plating solution I showed you how to make on our last video. Everything now is set up. The next step would be to heat the solution. So you're just going to plug in your hot plate or your cup warmer and then we will start plating in the next video. 